division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Be giving instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. Round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this one right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. The left hand points in the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Right up the elbow. Tries to work it into a takedown. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks.
Just missed with that right hand. Big head kick. some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Unable to connect it. Ooh, head kick lands on his hurt. Oh, man. a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful flying around for... He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly what to throw, exactly what to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Big ball from Quest Lance. Now he gets back to range. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Yeah, yeah, he's hurt. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just misses there with the left. Nice right. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single polo tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. inflicted there. Single collar tie now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary prop is massive take on the pit lane. So the fighter 
almost really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and just on a skill level of these two fighters. Good punch, Lance. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, what a punch. on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Take down. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. It's now the ground and pound starts. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Hip into that leg kick. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, nice jab. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Lee gets touched by that kick there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the camp. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. All right, so he postures up, and he's out. Grab 
ground and pound strike there now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, a big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Bottom fighter trying to control, and he's out. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, he dove and he lands, wow! Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom hook here, staying busy. And back to his feet. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three piece, no so that's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him the... Oh! Man, DC is... Potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Whoa! Oh, that diving punch landed. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Out of range with that kick attempt. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Nice entry directly into the pitch. Nice hit. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. He got it back. Versus position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. from the bottom, tags him with the punch. 15 seconds. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Stop. 
All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46 and 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still